What's going on YouTube? It's your nappy ass, expired ass, haircut needing, homie lomi, because it's bad. But uh, good morning. We are on our way to get, first off, coffee, okay? Coffee is a must. Then we're gonna go get this uh, situation handled and I live on the West Coast currently, and there's a coffee company called Dutch Bros. And I don't get me wrong, I love my Starbucks. I'm originally from the Midwest, and I love Dunkin'. But not gonna lie, Dutch Bros is pretty freaking cool. Their menu is insane. So I want y'all to go and... <laughs> so I want y'all to go and look up the dutch bro menu and they'll have a bunch of different categories like um, americano lemonades smoothies chai teas lattes you name it and then if you click on a category it will literally give you like 50 different flavors like it's insane so since i've been here i've been trying to have like one different thing every time but i never know how to pick them I, so far, I only picked one coffee that I fully didn't finish, which, if you know me, that's like, <gasps> because I love coffee, and I would drink it, but yeah, so go check it out, let me know what you guys want to see me talk, let me know what you guys want to see me try, and let's go. So I let the Dutch bro worker uh, pick my coffee because I was coming up to the drive-thru and I started freaking out. I hadn't picked my drink yet and I was scrolling through their menu frantically. And every time I come into the Oregon side, my signal's so slow. So the menu wasn't loading and I'm like, <laughs> so <laughs> I just let him pick my drink. He said it was a caramel Irish kicker or something like that, something kicker Irish caramel something like that so i normally am not a fan of like irish cream but let's see yo actually this is pretty bomb i'm not gonna lie Ooh. Ooh. who gonna be sliding in my dms now <laughs> all right guys well now we're just gonna go home and I figured I'd show you guys my car. All right, guys. So I'm gonna introduce y'all to my car. I call my car Lil Fuego. Follow me on Instagram, Lil Fuego FC3. But let's get into it. I'm gonna start from the back and work our way to the front. Um, it's a Honda Civic 2017 SI. So starting off with the back, this is the stock HDMI looking exhaust. And I just did a little snippy snip to the dual mufflers and it makes it go vroom. Not really, but I like to think that. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, the little things I did, you know, like um, change the license plate frame because we don't rep dealerships around here because they don't pay us to promote them. Something else I did is I laid a uh, tint over the reverse light because it was all white. Uh, I probably have the footage still from when it was stock and I'll put those up. Did the Type R red badges. I did uh, the louvers. Love them, actually. It's kind of goofy, kind of ricey. Call it what you will, but I love them. I enjoy them. Something else I did was I painted the calipers yellow. 
I did it all myself. They're not the greatest, but I love them. Saved me a lot of money. Something else I did was the window guards, rain guards or whatever. Some people call them window visors. Some people call them rain guards. I don't know, but there they are. They're the Mugen style. I like them. I went with 20% tint. Something else I did was the wrap. Boy, it's a wrap. Uh, it's black carbon fiber. It's a matte finish. Absolutely love it. Changed the side markers to be LED black. But when they shine at night, it's uh, just LED. Like, it's not black. It's not a black light. The orange and the red combo just can't even... For the lights, I changed the bulbs to be LEDs because the running day lights are LEDs. So I did it to match them. Plus, LEDs are nice, man. I also did LED fog lights that change color. I have a remote for them. And then I cut out the front mesh here, which I might still have a picture from when it was stock. But I did that because I changed the intercooler. It gives it a beefier look to it, I feel like. I also have a front splitter with the tensioner rods that I normally have on, but it's winterized right now. Don't have my carbon fiber hood on there right now. But soon, change the front badge. I removed the license plate bracket and it left me with two little drill holes. And I didn't want the paint to start peeling or anything, so I bought these bumper plugs. Not butt plugs, guys, bumper plugs. For the interior, I just put some little red trim along the door, along the dash, a little bit over there, you know, runs along. Something that I did as well was change the seatbelts from black to be red. I actually was really jealous that the Type R had red seatbelts. Don't like the Type R, but I did like the seatbelts. Something else I did was went with a Buddy Club carbon fiber steering wheel. Definitely one of my favorite interior mods or mods in general. Like I absolutely love this steering wheel changed the badge on the inside as well put another carbon fiber overlay wrapped the piano piece as people call it it was just black and shiny but it was kind of weird so i wrapped it with the same wrap that's on my roof uh i checked out belay works and you can pretty much custom make your own shift knob so i had this one made uh this car is also ran on k-tuner uh it's got a stage one tune from two-step performance the radio still stock for now. It's hacked, so I can watch um, like YouTube and Netflix or whatever. But I want to get the. Well, I just I'll, I'll wait till it how it happens. Another thing I did was the silver ring around here. Change it to be red. Um, yeah, uh, did the weather tech mats. Did uh, footwell lighting. Something else that I did, which you probably can't see right now is I did puddle lights with the Superman logo. Honda only does puddle or welcome lights on their touring models and I wanted some and then I got more creative and I found these Superman logo ones. So I did that myself as well. All right, as for the engine, what I did was I did a PRL cold air intake. Uh, it's the race math edition, which is why I needed the first stage tune. I also did a PRL intercooler. Those are my aftermarket LEDs. I did a Tanabee strut bar across the top. Uh, normally this wouldn't hang like this, sorry. Normally it's supposed to be in there. But since I change my hood every season, I change my wipers as well, the wiper jets. So I install them into my carbon fiber hood and it's just a pain in the butt to get them in there. So I just interlock them at the bottom race car problems you know also that's why this is so dirty i need to clean it i haven't gotten around to it maybe there'll be another video on detailing but yeah so this is little fuego and thank you guys all for watching and hopefully you guys give a little tap a tap to that subscribe button give a little tap to that like button drop a beautiful comment let me know what else y'all want to see let me know if y'all want to see me find out the top speed in Lil Fuego. Just kidding. I will not do that. Maybe if this video gets enough likes. Who knows?